Hello. What's your name? My name is Trig Watson. I'm 33 years old. And I live in Los Angeles. And I am a magician. Ooh. Wow. You answered all my questions. <laughs> um, do you do this for a living? I do. I had a job in tech for a while, but then I decided to combine it with my passion for magic. OK, so but why AGT? I have loved magic ever since I was a little kid. But in high school, I would watch magicians on America's Got Talent and imagine what it would be like for me to be on this stage. And now I am here performing in front of all of you. I am here to show that 16-year-old Trig that his dreams came true. And he'd be freaking out right now. What's the dream? Well, the dream is to win AGT. Do you think you could win? I do, absolutely. Wow. I can't wait to see the magic. Thank you. We spend a lot of our time experiencing other people's lives through a phone screen. Do you ever watch people's videos and imagine jumping inside their world for a second? These I do. These headbands are actually silk pocket squares, and they're really easy to... I hate going to the movies with my little brother. I mean, every time we go, oh my god. Vegan chicken noodle soup. No, 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 no. Really thought about that act? Check out a new podcast, The Recap Room. Link in the description. I've never seen anything more amazing, more jaw dropping, more incredible. It felt like I was watching a dream. It didn't look real. Yeah. 
I think you could win this season with that. I really do. I have never seen anything like it. This was so different. Yes. And you are right. AGT is the perfect place for you to come with something as good as this. Thank you so much. I don't know how many times I was going, wow, 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 wow. I mean, you just kept it coming. It was amazing. Thank you. Well done. At the beginning, you were actually a bit annoying, actually. But the act itself, I loved it. It was different. It's magic. Brilliant. I mean, surely your dream is to have your own Vegas show. Absolutely. I want to create something that no one has ever seen before. We should vote now. OK, my vote is a yes. Heidi. It's a yes from me. Yes. Yes. And Simon. You're a magician, what am I gonna say? Abraca, yes. Yes! Four yes. yeses! Yes. Yes. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Are you super nervous? A little, but excited nervous. I really care about this. And who are you, what is your name? My name is Anna de Guzman. And what do you do, Anna? I do magic. Magic? How is it that there's not many women that, that are magicians that like to do magic? I know, I'm one of the few, and I hope to inspire more girls tonight. Okay, respect. I'll be like her when I grow up. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing it for around like five or six years, but I feel like my whole life, magical things happen all the time. And how old are you? I'm 24 now. Your baby. Oh, thank you. And Simon can't talk tonight, but I'm sure he's gonna wanna ask you if you have any pets. I've never had a pet because I moved around a lot, but hopefully if I win, I would love to get a dog that I wanna put in the act. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we're ready for you, and we're so excited that you came tonight to AGT. Thank you for having me. Let's go, okay. Judges, may I join you up at your desk? Of course. My biggest fear is falling down those stairs. Hi. I have a gift for this cutie right here. Ooh. Sophia, could you hold on to that for me? <laughs> <laughs> Put it away. Put it away. And it safe. Yeah, somewhere I can get to it. Yeah, right there. I will never touch it, I promise. Oh now, growing up as an only child with a single mother, I spent a lot of time alone learning how to entertain myself. When I found my first deck of cards, I was instantly captivated by the magic they seemed to possess. I became obsessed with this thing called cardistry. <gasps> it's the manipulation of playing cards. Whoa. What the heck? Simon, can you shuffle these cards as good as I do? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't expect you to, but do your best. <laughs> Now, I know you've seen a ton of great magic here on this stage before, so I wanted to create something special just for America where I don't even touch the cards. But before I do that, Simon, I'll take these back. Good. One more. Oh, fancy. Howie, I'm going to riffle through the side of the cards. Just say stop whenever it feels right to you. Stop. Lock the card in your brain. Okay. Memorize it. I got it. Now, the reason I had you shuffle, Simon, is because a lot of people think my shuffling is suspicious, even though I think it's pretty fair. You could actually see each card one by one. between one and 52. You could say the number out loud. 10. 10. 
<laughs> Sophia, you've been holding on to these cards before we even started. I have. They have a plastic on. <laughs> Go ahead and take the cards carefully out of the box. Sophia, Hadi was thinking of the number 10. Deal down 10 cards for us. One, face up. Two, and we'll all count together. No, just like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Show everybody the two spins! That's so cute! Oh. Yeah! Do it for us! Yeah. The two spins! I did not think it was gonna work! I thought I got so good! But everything's good! didn't think it was going to work at the end. <laughs> so I fooled myself. There's nothing more exciting when the magician <laughs> amazes themselves. <laughs> well, hopefully I amazed all of you as well. Can I just say something? You are real. The fact that you were so nervous and not slick added to what we were doing. It was the most adorable, yes. fun, magical thing I have seen so far this season. You're totally a breath of fresh air. Thank you showed us some magic that I have not seen before. And so. apparently, either is she. <laughs> and you have a million dollar smile on that face. Thanks. <laughs> so Simon thinks you're annoying, <laughs> likable, brilliant. Ah! Anna, we're gonna start voting. Simon. Yes. <laughs> Howie. Yes. Ah! Heidi. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sang Soon Kim from South Korea. Wow. And how old are you? I'm 28 years old. And what do you do in South Korea? Magic. Magic? <laughs> Did you ever have other jobs besides magic? Military service. Military. You were in the army? Yeah. Why AGT? Well, actually, I met Yu Ho Jin, the finalist. On the show, yeah. Yeah, we, we kept talking about AGT. And I thought, oh, I can go because I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck. Okay. Thank you so much. Good luck.
Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is your name? Uh, my name is Ryland. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. And uh, where are you from? I'm from England. Uh, so, Ryland, okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's from England, we know. Um, what is your talent, young man? Uh, well, I'm a magician. Ooh. Wow. How long you been doing that? Since I was two, so eight years. Wow. wow. At two? Um, so uh, I, was, I was born with magical powers, and my dad uh, is a magician, and he gave me some of the magical powers that he didn't need anymore. Wow. wow. OK. And what about the million dollars? If you get it, what would you do with that? I'll give some to my mom, my sister, and my dad, and spend the rest on Legos. Oh. <laughs> OK. OK. Let's see what you've got tonight. Thank you. Tonight, I would like you to help me create a brand new magic word. A okay. magic word. But first, I have gifts. You see, I love drawing and colouring in, and I've drawn you each a picture to look at later. This one's for you, Howie. All right. This one's for you, Heidi. Thank you. This one's for you, Sophia. Yes, and this yes. one's for you, Simon. Now, don't peek inside the envelopes. Don't let anyone else touch them. We'll get back to them later. What you're about to see is amazing, but I can't do it on my own. I need help. Luckily, I have lots of friends that love magic just like me. Oh, hello there. Hi, friends. We got a lot of friends. Wow. I'll let each of you to pick one of my friends. Pick one of the numbers and I'll place it in this holder. You get to choose which position it goes in. There are multiple combinations and the choices are all yours. We'll start with you, Howie. Please name one of my friends. Me? Uh, okay, uh, Mark. And would you like the number seven or 23? I'll take seven, it's lucky. And where would you like it to go? One, two, three or four? First, because I'm first. Okay, so number one. Heidi, it's your turn. I choose um. Would you like 11 or 26? 11. And where would you like that to go? Two, three or four? Four. Thank you, Heidi. Sophie, it's your turn. Which of my friends would you like? Skylar. And would you like 24 or 10? 10. And where would you like it to go? Two or three? Two. Thank you, Sophia. And Simon, which of my friends would you like? Jordan. Jordan. And would you like one or 15? One. And we'll try something a little bit different with you. Would you like to put it in the last position or swap it out for another one? <laughs> OK. <Taking my> position. <laughs> He's taking my position. OK. Thanks, Simon. Now, let's look at the drawings you didn't use. As you can see, they're all different. We've got things like Lego, dragons, we've got burgers. So they're all different, yeah? Yes. Let's look at the drawings you did choose. You chose? A snake, a slice of lime, a house, and some mountains. Each of you had a free choice of which drawing you wanted, and more importantly, where to put it. The snake looks like an S, the lime looks like a C, the house looks like an A, and the mountains look like an M. That's why it's the word scam, right? Right. Yeah. I said that we were going to create a brand new magic word. That can be our magic word. <laughs> Everyone shout scam as loud as they can on the count of three. One, two, three. Scam! <laughs> but what if I told you that we knew what the magic word would be before you even picked it? At the beginning of my act, I gave you each a drawing to hold on to. I'd like to take the drawing out of the envelope and show it to everyone. As 
you can see, they match. Now, as well as having something on the front of their T-shirt, my friends also had something on the back. Look. Word equals scan. Wow. Now, look. OK, so I'm at AGT. I'm going to go in, do what I need to do, get out as fast as I can. OK, let's go. I can't believe I'm actually inside the AGT theatre. Right, there's a desk. Better be quick. Can't get caught. What is he doing? Some there. Oh, God, someone's going to hate this. What's that? Oh, my God, I've got one. Come on. Now, you're probably wondering what I did at the desk, Simon. Well, hopefully you're not too mad. Watch this. Whoa, it's a scam everywhere. Look, scam, 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 scam. Sorry, Simon. Beautiful girl. I'm Mandy, Mandy Muden. I'm from London in the United Kingdom. How old are you? Uh, I'm 29. Oh. It's yeah. been a rough couple of years, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what do you do, Mandy? Um, I do magic. Why AGT now? Well, being British, as Simon will back me up to say, I love America. Also, I owe money and had to get out of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with a million dollars if you win? Well, I do. I'd probably spend it on men. On men? <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready for you. We want to see your magic. OK, fantastic. <laughs> right, everybody, are you ready to get into a magic mood? <laughs> OK, America's Got Talent. Look at this. Four strangers ready to judge me. It's like one of those parties where you throw the car keys into the fishbowl. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, yes. would you just... I've got a bag here yes. full of letters. Could you just reach in and get a few out just to make a sure few. that they're all different? It's very difficult with the gloves on, isn't it? If you just committed a crime and hoping to get away with it. <laughs> they all look different. Lovely. Shove that back. I'll give the bag a bit of a shake. Hi, Howie. Hi. I, I want you just to take a letter. One. Um, don't look at it. OK. OK, fantastic. Could you take one as well? Take it out. Yes, please. And don't look at it. We'll come back to that later. OK, Sophia, could you do the same? OK, fantastic. Now, Simon, I'm going to riffle through my book. Could you just stick anything in your like? <laughs> Yes, a finger would be lovely, okay. Simon. <laughs> OK, brilliant. Now, Simon, could you look at the page number? Yes. And I... the first word on the page, Simon. Got it. OK, and could you write them down and remember them? Yes, I can. OK, fantastic. I'm just going to pop back up to the stage. Feel free to check me out, Simon. OK. <laughs> right, here we go. Now, Howie, I want you to think of any word at all in the English language. OK. Now, would you be impressed if the word you were thinking of was written on a piece of paper in the bag in front of you? Yes, more than impressed. Please open the bag. <laughs> it's a dictionary. Unbelievable. <laughs> Heidi and Sophia, open your packages. OK, Heidi, what lovely love story do you have, Heidi? Mine says Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh! Now, Simon, what page were you on? 70. OK, Heidi, could you turn to page 70? I'm just going to go into a trance and read your mind. Here we go. <laughs> page 70. Does your word begin with an F? Yes. Right, lovely. Now, are you familiar with this word? Yes, I'm familiar with the word. OK. <laughs> now, the spirits are telling me that this word ends in I-N-G. OK. 
Have you done this word today? Yes. That's my girl. Fantastic. Is your word by any chance? Is it um, fantasizing? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, Sophia, could you go to seventeen? Could you look at the last word on page Wait, seventeen, I, I Sophia? Wait, I don't have my glasses. Seventeen. Okay, Howie, you've got a dictionary there. Yes. Could you go to page 330? Okay. And could you go down seven word entries? Seven words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's yes. the word? Looney. No! It's loony. Now, Simon, you were thinking of a word, you wrote it down. What was your word? Eat. Eat. Howie, you picked a letter. Could yes, you I did. hold your letter up and shout it out? It's it's an E. An e. e. What do you have there, Heidi? I have an A. And what do you have, Sophia? A T. Unbelievable! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Thank you, Mandy. That was quite a surprise. Oh. You're, You're a very Good magician. Heidi, I think that you are adorable. And can I keep this? Yes, of course. Simon. We saw everything, didn't we? I mean, you were mind reading, you were funny, you were very naughty. <laughs> I really like you. Oh, thank you. I do. Heidi, it's a yes from me for Mandy. Oh, thank you so Simon. much. It's a yes. Are we? Three yeses. Oh. How are you? What is your name? Where are you from? So, you, you're here for the million dollars? Let's see how this goes. Cute, but you're cute. Who are you? My name is Anishi. 
Yay! Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Is this a dream come true to be here? No. No? No. My dream is AGT's champion. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! And is she, is this what you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a cellophone uh, salesman. Yeah. Howie, what do you think? I think original, something I've never seen before. I liked it. Well, thank you so much. Super original, never seen it before. I loved it. Love, love, oh. love, loved it. Oh, I love it too. Oh. Okay. I mean, I really like the act. However, I just didn't feel it had that wow factor for me. Okay, so we're gonna vote Howie. Yes. Oh, thank you. Heidi. Yes. Thank you. I think because you got such... No, actually, I'm gonna say no. Oh. Oh. No, 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 there's no. Oh. What? You don't need Simon. Three yeses! Yeah! yeah. yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> oh, he's Uncle Festo. Of course. <laughs>
Okay. Yes. Simon, right. do you like colouring? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I heard that's very calming for some old people. Uh <laughs> and Simon, whenever you're done, you can just tell me. After that, I'm taking my time, all right? <laughs> Try to stay in the line. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay, nice. all right. Is that all right? You're done? Yes. Okay, great. Can you take that marker and throw it away? Can you now pass yes. the comic and the markers over to Heidi? Yep. Heidi, can you please pick any marker? And with that marker, can you colour in the shirt for me, please? Shirt. Sure. And you know, it's okay, you can be a rebel. You can colour outside the lines if you need to. No, no, no. <laughs> and whenever you're done, Heidi, you can take that marker and throw it away like the super diva you are. <laughs> super diva? Pass the comic and the markers over to Howie. Howie, choose any marker, please. And colour in just the shorts. Just the shorts, got it. Are you done? I am done. Great, you can take that marker and throw it away. All right. <laughs> so, take the last marker. Right. And color in the legs this time, please. Okay. And Howie, since yep. that's last one, you know, you can go ahead and give it a big mic drop. Boom. Boom. Great, I'm gonna take off my blindfold now. Oh, there we go. Can I have my glasses, please, Terry? Right. Thank you. So, Howie. Yes. For the first time, please hold up the superhero drawing so I can see it. Wow, uh, that's very colorful. Pink top, blue legs, green cape, and orange shorts. Right. No one could have predicted this. But I knew all along all the choices you all would make tonight. That includes you, Terry. Please take out the name you chose earlier and show everyone what it is. Titan, Terry the Titan. That's an awesome superhero name. But just to prove I predicted everything all along, check this out. Seriously, unbelievable. I love the magic, but really, it is you who is the magic. You really are. I think you're such a little star. You sparkled. And I don't know, what's my head saying? What? Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Kevin Lee. Hi, Kevin. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. Yeah! 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 How old are you? I'm 25. What is your talent? What do you do? I do magic. We love magic. Then you must be in the right place, because magic is magic on this show. Why AGT? I grew up watching this show with my family, and it helped bond us, it helped connect us, and I hope I can share the same joy with other families watching. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Go ahead, young man. Thank you. It's thought that we each have a set of core memories that define who we are. Of course, photos help capture these memories. Judges, I have a few photos of us here. Simon, Heidi, Sophia, Howie, Terry, and myself to help take a mental snapshot of this moment right here. 
we share a lot of the same core memories, mostly from our childhood, like <laughs> pulling your first all-nighter, your first crush. These images represent core memories we tend to all experience. Let's unlock some of them together now. Hi, Heidi. Hello. I'd like you to take out one of these pictures for me. Yes. They're all different. Don't look at it just yet. Okay. Heidi, I'm gonna close my eyes. Can you show the photo to everybody? Show the judges, show the world. And when you're done, Heidi, hide the photo, put it away. And everyone, just do your best to vividly remember all the details about it. Yes. Heidi, hold out your index finger for me. This is gonna help out a lot. Okay, go like this. E.T. phone home. I'm seeing a screen, not a small screen like a phone. This is larger. I'm smelling something buttery. Whoa. Judges, in the photo. Are you all eating popcorn at the movie theater? No! <laughs> Sophia, can you pretend you're placing a piece of popcorn on my hand? Oh, that's a popcorn kernel. Watch closely. Don't blink. And popped. Simon, what do you see inside the box? Nothing. We'll take the kernel, place it inside, and heat it up a bit. Can you cup your hands for me? We tend to focus a lot on the future, that sometimes we forget about all the memories that made us who we are today. Let's rewind the hands of time even more. Judges, let's all go back. Whoa! Aww, it's us! Look how cute you all are, we even are. Simon. <laughs> These kids, especially me, would have never dreamed we'd all be here together. This memory we made here tonight will forever be a part of us, and I am just forever grateful. Thank you. I love your magic, I love you. But I have to say, my favorite was when this kernel was coming out of your eyeball. I mean, it was like, it was kind of disgusting, but it was so cool. I loved it. Thank you. You know, it's amazing to see you now so emotional because when you were doing your show, you were so in control. You looked like you were like so present, everything. It was spectacular. Thank you. You're Bye. just good and you're cool, and you're different. We've seen a lot of magic over the years, but you did something different. I could tell how much this means to you, which I think is amazing. And you're slick, and you're Vegas, and you're very us, and I really like you. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. The story that you tell, the image of a little boy sitting in his home with his family and his parents watching America's Got Talent, and then years later, not only being on that spot that you watched, but rising to the occasion and rising above that occasion. I think you just had a career and life-changing performance. Thank you. It's a yes for me, Heidi. It's a yes for me. Sophia. Yes. <laughs> you now have four yeses. Let's go! You know what I do remember about her? What? Her act was one of the most viral acts of all time. Oh no.
not toward me. Oh my God. Ice cold. Pick one. Don't look. No match. Not a match. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh no. Come if you want to play. He's gone for now, but he already knows your name, Howie. Oh, did you guys hear that? There's a voice saying Howie. Just me? I swear to you. Go, go, okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna just take the knives out. It says I'm 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 coming for you, Howie. Where'd she go? Oh my gosh. Where did she go? Great. Why I don't Is it over? I don't know what's going on. Uh well, uh, apparently somebody's coming for me, so I would like to get the judging out of the way and so that I can leave. I don't know what to say. 
Has it finished? No, I don't think it's finished. I'm finished. Has it finished? I really, legitimately, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you that I'm terrified. Terrified of what? Read the notes! I mean, Howie's terrified because someone is coming for I Howie, I was poked in the back. I was good. stabbed in the back. <laughs> we're good. He knows my name, and he's coming for me. Judging, have we done what we, we're uh, paid to do? Yes, yes, very good. What is your name? My name is Bryn Cummings and I'm a ventriloquist. Aww. How old are you? Um, I'm 12. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Pawpaw, Michigan. How did you get into doing this? How did you know you could do this? Um, well, it was actually, I remember seeing Darcy Lynn on AGT and that um, inspired me. I literally looked at my parents as soon as I saw it and I went, that's what I'm gonna do, Aww. so. <laughs> and look at you now, right here in front of us. That's amazing. What are you gonna do if you win one million dollars? I mean, it's a big thing, but probably I'd like to follow in Darcy's footsteps and uh, start touring, uh, so get like a tour bus, and I also really want a bearded dragon. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're ready, go ahead. All right, Penelope, it's our big moment. Are you ready for me to cue the music? I don't want to sing anymore. What? This is what we've practiced for weeks. I've been thinking about it, and it's been done. They want to see something else, something new. <laughs> but we haven't practiced anything else. What's your plan? I've got it! Mentalism! Mentalism? Wait, what? I don't mind, Reed. Quit playing around. Let's just sing the song. Trust me. Take me down to the judges. Is that allowed? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Ooh. That's so good. Yeah, good. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop worrying. Seriously, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's okay, we'll use a deck of cards. Check your pocket. Wait, what? Ta-da! Heidi, yes. I'd like you to cut the deck one time. Howie, I'd like you to take the top card. All right. Then look away and close your eyes. Show me the card. I will send my thoughts to Drin using my brilliant mental powers. What do I do now? Just concentrate. What comes to mind? A migraine. Drin! <laughs> okay, I'm focused. I see. I think it's black. That's it. Keep thinking. It's a club. Is it the... Seven of clubs, open your eyes. Oh my oh, gosh! What? That's amazing. That's crazy. Judges, in a moment, we're going to go back on stage. But as we do, Sophia. Hi. Please take out any item from your purse, but keep it hidden for now. Okay. Simon, please turn out into the audience and grab an object. Any object from anyone. Yep, in the audience. And judges, don't let us see what you picked. Do not let us see what you picked. Oh. Let's make this a little more interesting. Terry, can you bring out the blindfold? Blindfold? <laughs> Terry, inspect the blindfold. Hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? No, I can't. Perfect. Please put it on the ring. Okay. Make it, make it nice and tight, nice and tight. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. You can go. You can leave now. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're gonna figure out what objects the judges are holding. Sophia, hold your object up into the air. Then clear your mind. <laughs> so, Dren, what do you see? I see it's a food. Um, it might be. It has some sugar in it. Um, it might be like a good treat. Maybe you leave it when Santa comes. Is it a cookie? Sophia, what was your object? It's an oatmeal cookie! Oh my gosh! Since you're doing so well, you're gonna try this one solo. Penelope, come on, I need your help. Fine, here's a clue. 
Simon's object can fit inside of this room. Penelope, come on. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. It's, it's an accessory. Um, you might wear it on your ankle. No, you wear it on your wrist. Uh, is it an Apple Watch? Uh, yes. Wow. Fun. It's so great to see you right up close, how good you're doing it. I loved it. Thank you so much. This is the season of mashups. The fact that you did magic or mentalism and ventriloquism at the same time, you're amazing, young Thank lady. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. I loved it too, because you really figured out like a perfect little act for yourself. You're part comedian too. <laughs> I thought it was a lot of fun. Well done. Thank you so much. When did you realize that you have magic powers? Um, when I was about nine years old, I would say. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna give you your first yes. Second yes. Top. Hello. Hello, Simon. Do you remember me? Of course I remember you. Wow. Forget you and I have met. Tell us who you are. What's the dream? Okay, my name is Keiji Wasaki, and I have been traveling with bicycle. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Okay, so why are you here? No, because it's a big, big opportunity to show my magic all over the world. All right, good luck, Ketchi. Yeah, thank you. Arigato Arigato. Yep. He's already making me laugh. He's very funny. Here he goes. Hello, Simon. Hi, Ketchi. Hello, how are you? Okay. Hello. Yep, I have two handkerchiefs here. Okay, please. Okay. Could you make a knot? Is it possible? It is possible. Yeah, yes, please, make a knot. That's what you're doing. Okay. Yes. Very tight, please. Okay. Very tight, please. Okay. 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 Then, okay. One more time, please. Another make knot. Make sure tight. Okay. Yes. And you dance, too. Yeah. Very tight, please. I, I know. Very tight, huh? I'm you're doing sorry. it tight. Simon, do you want to check it? Please yeah. check it. We do. Yes, put boss tight, the shirt tight. And it's very tight. That's a knot. Okay, that's a knot. Now, usually, it's how, how long does it take to untie it? Two minutes, three minutes. No, maybe three days. But give me a hand like this. What? Open like this. It is. Then just, just put it. Hold, hold here. Hold, okay. hold. Yes. Hold it. But don't move. It's very dangerous, okay? Okay. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> what the? Open your hand. What happened? Open your hand. Here you go. Oh! Whoa! I need a red light from here. What? <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, here. Hide it. <laughs> no, hide it in here. Sorry, excuse me. No, Simon, open your mouth. Ah, Nini. I get no. Ah, oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. no. Oh, in here. Like, like this. Okay, now I don't. <laughs> now, oh, again. Oh, 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 oh. I love this guy. Hi, uh, Could you come uh, join me to the stage? Yes. Thank you. We are tall. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes, my last trick is this. Uh, this is what? Brian Hood. So can you see anything? Well, now I can. You want me to put yeah, it on? Yeah. No, no, I can't see it. No, okay. I can't see through okay. it. Okay. Okay. Now I put this like this. Oh, you want it? Yes. Okay. Now I make like this. Then give me a finger like this. Is it okay? To, can I touch this? You can touch it, it. Yes. I'm not like Howie. Okay. Ah, so <laughs> then I have a, a ring. Okay. Can I put one this here? Okay, please don't move. It's a very difficult magic trick. I won't move. Okay. Okay. Give me a ring. 
okay? Please don't move. It's incredibly difficult. This ring from here. Without watching, one, two, three. Oh, is it flying? I can see it. It's spinning. Okay, now it's just like this, okay? And also like this. Okay, now it's a passing. Wow, that is weird. Heidi, don't move. I'm not moving. Huh? It's a direct at water. Oh my goodness. How far did you go at BGT? Semi-final, but uh, the judge's choice was not me. Right, they didn't choose. Oh, I remember. Oh, I'm Daigo sorry. Daigo was there. Is the idea that you want to redeem yourself. Yes, of course. Because I think the super fans are going to love you. I love Thank you. you. <laughs> I loved you already when you came onto the stage. You're super excited, which is getting me excited too, because you like high speed and you're moving things around. Then I was right there with this ring, it was amazing. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. A lot of magicians do take themselves very seriously on this show. Um, and they are quite boring with, with their little car tricks and stuff like that. You, however, have a personality. People are gonna like you. Let's see what happens. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Magic Mike Jacobson. Magic Mike Jacobson. So you're gonna be doing magic. That's right. Well, what a coincidence to have that name and to be doing Pretty what convenient. you do. Pretty yeah. convenient. Yeah, the, the movie was loosely based on my life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing magic? I like did magic everywhere I could, from like my home to barber shops and everywhere in between, and eventually kind of just like rose and rose and rose, and would love to keep doing it, you know? So this is perfect. Okay, and how old are you? Uh, 36. 36, and where are you from? LA. And what, how do you make a living? Do you make a living doing magic? Uh, no, uh, not yet. I work in advertising by day, but um, this performance will determine whether I can quit. Oh. So, we'll see what happens. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. But actually a huge deal for me. <laughs> well, let's see what you do. Are you nervous? Exactly, let's see. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm also just excited to be here. Well, wish you the best of luck, buddy. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm gonna share something with you all tonight that every magician has, but no magician will show you for some reason. It's this. It's an invisible deck of cards. Uh, it's a bit hard to see in this light. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn the invisible deck from 52 all the way down to one. At the end, Simon, you're gonna be a hero, as you always are in my heart. And you're gonna save one of the remaining cards from burning, but it depends on what Heidi and Sophia decide. Heidi, take that match. I don't want you to strike it and stare into the flame. Let's just say there's two groups, number cards and face cards. We need to decide whether you want to start to burn all the numbers or all the faces. Blow it out when you're ready. Am I telling you? Yes, please. All the faces. The faces are now on the fire. You can pass the box over to Sophia. Sophia, take your match, okay? Left in the fire, we've got jacks, queens, kings. Okay, the only way to divide those up would be yeah, men and women. We need to burn that match. And tell us, do you want to burn all the men, or do you want to burn all the women to a crisp? Oh, the men. That was a very quick decision. You go ahead, you blow it out. And you can pass that to Simon. You're going to save one of the remaining cards for burning. All we have left are the four queens. Queen of hearts, queen of spades, queen of clubs, queen of diamonds. We're going to light that match. And whenever you're ready, blow it out. I want you to draw with that match the suit of the queen that you want to save. Hearts, spades, clubs, or diamonds. Is that a diamond? Here's the thing, are you sure? 
Simon, if you shake the matchbox, do you hear something in there? Open that up for us. Because in all of your hands the entire time, there's been nothing but one card sitting inside there, protected by a paperclip. I want to make sure, singed, like it's been at a bit of a fire. You guys could have saved whatever you wanted to, but you and you and you decided together to save the Queen of Diamonds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No. I appreciate that very much, but this is America's Got Talent. I'm here to take this to the next level, and so, Howie, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a, an invisible deck of cards right next to your cup. Howie, if you would, I want you to just shuffle the deck for me, please. But you might want to uh, take it out of the box first. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Stupid me. Great. And now, feel free to show off all your shuffling skills. Just for, make sure it's really mixed. For, oh my god. Oh wow. That was very impressive. <laughs> Now, Howie, what I want you to do is just fan out the deck to yourself and pick out any card you want. Don't, don't show me, but remember it. Make sure everyone can see it. Great. Howie, if there's an invisible Sharpie right next to your cup, sign the back of the card for me, just with your first name. Okay. Great, I don't want to see it. And now, take the card, slide it right back in, put that all back in the box, and then throw it right back up to me whenever you're ready. Perfect. Now, you, just, just minor miracles, it's fine. Howie, you shuffled the deck, yes. you picked a card, you all saw it for the very first time. What's the card that you picked? Ten of clubs. I want to clarify something. You and I have never met, correct? Never. Nobody came up to you before the show, said no. anything? No. For the very first time, I'm going to open this up. You said the ten of clubs, correct? I did. Because every single card in here is face up except for one. One card with a signature on it. Howie, can you confirm, is that your signature? It is. Will you flip that over for me? Are you kidding me? Is that oh. your card? Thank you very much. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't heard this audience this quiet all day. I mean, we were all like, <laughs> like hanging by every word that was coming out of your mouth. And it was incredible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really, really cool. I'm like mesmerized. It was like fantastic. And it was funny at the beginning also with the invisible part. Yeah. Thank Good you so job. Much. Thank you. No more advertising jobs for you. Because <laughs> this is what I think you were born to do. Genuinely. Thank you. I swear to you, nobody here was in on this. This is my signature. That was incredible. I loved it, you know? I think it was really good, and I think you're really good. I'm gonna start the voting with a yes. It's a yes for me too. Sophia? Yes! And Simon? Four yeses! Thank you. Thank you guys so much. The first thing that we're gonna do, Heidi, if you could please join me on yes. stage along with Terry. Give it up for All Heidi right. Krum and Terry Cruz, everybody. Heidi, Hello. thank you for joining us. Great to see you again. Good to see you. So, um, look, magic can be many things. Um, Heidi, can you just hold your hand out like this? Yes. As a magician, uh, with these hands, I can do some pretty impossible things. Wow. But look, there's a magic that is far more powerful than anything these hands could ever do. Our words can literally change the course of someone's entire future. Uh, Terry, I need you to do me a favor. I want you to think of some encouraging words that you might want to say to Simon, okay? Something that might impact him in a way that matters. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine yourself writing down whatever it is you're thinking on a note for Simon. Cool? Okay. Awesome. Um, Simon, do you see this uh, blank piece of paper in front of you? Yep. Can you please pick that up? Yep. You know, pick it up, hold it in front of you. Yep. Keep your eyes on the paper. Terry, continue to imagine yourself writing down whatever it is you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And um, Simon, as Terry is imagining this, do you notice anything happening yep. to that paper? The words are becoming clearer. Terry, there's no way that anybody could know what you're thinking. I don't want you to say what you're thinking exactly, but um, can you just tell us what it's about? Fatherhood. 
fatherhood. Um, Simon, can you please read out loud the note that Terry just wrote for you? Yeah. Simon, you're an amazing father to Eric. Never forget that. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Yes! Yes! <laughs> wow. Wow. Our words can literally become reality. Words are powerful. But words are not always encouraging. Uh, when I was a little kid, I had this belief deep inside me that I had the ability to impact the lives of others in a way that mattered. And then I met a lady who always felt the need to remind me that the only thing that I had was ADHD, a minor version of Tourette's, and a whole lot of people who had no idea what to do with me. What could this anxious, unfocused kid possibly do to change the world? How could I impact lives in a way that mattered when I didn't even matter? Her words created a barrier that I couldn't see past and I didn't think I would ever be able to break through. But then uh, fast forward to when I was about 18 years old, I met a man named Keith, whose words also changed me. Uh, Keith became a mentor to me and day after day he would speak words to me that reminded me of who I really was. Um, Terry, Heidi, I wanna, I wanna show you guys something. If you guys could each grab a piece of this, hold this up right there, maybe with your other hand. Terry, yep. That hand, Heidi. Hold it. Yep, right there. Look, Keith single-handedly reached into my life and removed every negative word that I ever believed about myself. His words helped me break through this barrier that I thought I would be stuck behind forever. One person to take on these words and remind me that I matter. This is why it never felt like it was me who won America's Got Talent. It was an eight-year-old boy who believed that he would never be anything. He won America's Got Talent. Heidi, Terry, thank you guys so much. My name is thank Dustin you. Tavella. Thank you, America. Thank you guys so much. A movement of magicians who not only are doing magic and dazzling us and entertaining but us, they but they're inspire. also inspire and motivate. And you do that beautifully in these very relatable stories. Thank you, man. You deserve the win that you had on AGT. You deserve to be here at, at All Stars, and we can't thank you enough for this performance. Yes. You're very believable. I would argue that you've come over better than you did when you won the show. I do. Thank you. Let's do this. All right. Heidi. Yes. Please come join me on stage. Come on stage. Again. Have a seat here. Hello. Wow, you're much taller than I thought you were. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited I get to see this right here. Okay, here we go.
Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to uh, America's Got Talent. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. And what is your names? My name is uh, Alexander. My name is Lena. It's my wife. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> congratulations. Thank how, you. how long have you been married? More than 10 years. OK. Where are you from? We are from Ukraine. Oh. America's got love for the Ukraine. We're with you. And I should also say that one of my favorite acts of all time is Light Balance and Light Balance Kids, which are also Ukrainian. That's our great friends. Yeah, it's our great friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, what do you do? I work as choreographer and director, and we created a dance show with the Golographic Cube. Wow. And you, what did you do, miss? What, She's what? my muse. <laughs> I'm the creative producer. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you know, the Ukraine on this stage has preceded you in showing us how original and creative the Ukrainian people are. And so I can't, I can't wait to see this. But the bar is pretty high. Good luck. Thank you. Sometimes, because there was a lot of, like, technology in this act, and I think that can be a bit soulless. But you combine it with everything else, you are such a star. This is an audition we are all going to remember. Thank you! 
Thank you. Yeah, because we have seen a lot of mixture between technology and reality put together, but never quite like this before. You dance so beautifully. Like you coming up from a split, like this was like amazing. We were like, oh, like. <gasps> Thank you. There were just so many amazing wow moments. It was incredible. Well done. What's amazing for me is when you come from the country you're from, from such strife, and you have the ability to just flourish creatively and, you know, just beautifully. I set personally my bar really high because I love Life Balance Kids. You achieved that and even more. You really did. I'm going to start off the voting with a yes. <laughs> Thanks. chance of winning AGT this year. Yes. I stand alive. You've got four yeses. Now tonight, I'm going to try and prove to you all that time travel really does exist, which I know is a crazy thing. And Heidi, please can you come and join me up on stage and make sure you've got your cell phone with you too. Round of applause for Heidi. Come on guys, keep it going. Heidi, you can take a seat, thank you so much. Yeah. I've got a deck of cards here. Okay. And I need a favour from you. I want you to tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there? Yep. Okay. I want you to take that card, yep. show it round, and it doesn't matter if I see this card as well, because this is not a card trick. <laughs> the five of spades. Make sure it's face up, place it somewhere around the middle. There we go, okay. Now, everyone, I want you to remember this moment right here, where all the cards were face down, apart from one, and that is your card, the five of spades. Yes. Now we'll do this again. I'm gonna take about half the cards face up and half the cards face down. And I'm gonna mix them together. There's a technical term for this, Heidi. It's called a mess. A mess. Now, Heidi, I want you to take the five of spades yeah. and turn it face down. Mm -hmm. And then place it once again somewhere around the middle. Okay. Now you've got your phone there and I'm gonna take a picture of you. Is that okay? Sure. Perfect. I also want you to hold on to these cards. Okay, maybe use both hands, make sure you don't drop them. Nope. Okay. And um, I want you to give me your best model face. So here we go. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take the cards from you. All right. Audience, are you ready to prove that time travel really does exist? Okay, here we go then. I'm going to use my phone for this. So here we go. I want you to watch closely as you will see the time start ticking back. One, two, three, four, five. Heidi, we've just gone back in time. Five minutes. I want you to look at your phone and show me the time on your phone as well. Yeah, look, 6.44. We've both gone back in time. Five minutes. But that's not it. Audience, I want you to take your phones out right now. You have all just gone back in time. Five minutes. If we really have gone back in time, yeah. then this deck of cards that was a mess should now have returned to the point that I asked you all to remember when they were all face down apart from the five of spades. Yes, there it is. There it is. Now, Heidi, yes. a few minutes ago we took a picture on your phone. Yes. So because we went back in time five minutes and the deck of cards has changed, that picture has also changed. So I want you to go to that picture. Mm -hmm. You can see that Heidi, you are in fact holding a deck of cards that is all facing one way. Yes. Apart from your card, the five of spades. But Heidi, if I really could time travel, then why not go back more than five minutes? Why not go back before I even left my home in England? Then I'd know what your card was, the five of spades. Yes. And I did. And if you don't believe me, watch this. I'm leaving home right now to come to you guys in America. I am super excited to come and see you. It's currently five in the morning. I'm just looking for the gate now. So, ah, oh, there it is. I'm on the plane now and I'm about to take my seat. 
I'm finally here at the airport in LA. I'm gonna go to the hotel and I'll see you very soon. Wow! <laughs> wow! You went back! Heidi, thank you so much. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, I'm going to use magic and music to create the impossible. In the audience, all of you have envelopes. They look like this. And judges, you have Frisbees. We're going to toss these Frisbees out into the audience. If you catch a Frisbee, hold your envelope and give it a wave so we can see you nice and tall, OK? So here we go. Hold your envelope up, and we're going to get some ushers to find you and grab your envelopes. And Terry, could you help me out? I got you. I got you, man. Terry, I need you to choose someone in the audience. The young lady with the hat. Miss with the hat. You are going to hug your envelope. You're not going to open yours. All right, great. And uh, Terry, you can grab the envelopes. And we got some, uh, let's see, some papers in here. I want to take these out. And Terry, you can take all the envelopes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Terry, amazing with paper. All right, so we have a bunch of random words here. We have, uh, what is this, television. We have powerful energy and audience. I want you guys to open up your envelopes. You guys can see all your words are different. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a rap out of these words. All we need is a beat. I may be the most magical rapper who's ever touched a microphone. It's like I'm home on a stage, and sometimes I just like to zone out. If magic's the question, I got the answers like Yoda. Mental flexibility, you probably think I practice yoga. I used to wonder what it's like to be Spider-Man. Now the best Mervon is all I desire, and artistically, I am just such a rule breaker doing things you might hear about in your newspaper. Magic and music is something I could do for hours. Mixing multiple arts is my superpower. My energy is powerful, you can tell it's different. That's why I conjure these rhymes on your television. Television's promoting powerful things, energy codes, sending those into sensory overload. Super powerful messages in the newspaper, breath of fresh air, gust of wind at the fuse vapor. Power to people who practice preaching positive, empowering messages is my only prerogative. Deep desires and dreams of moving up in social status. They say leave, nah, I'ma stay like yoga classes. I've been through things they never spoke of. I meditate and take a deep breath like yoga. Television desires of a larger life. Cause having powerful dreams is a part of life. From working as a food maker to doing magic front page of the newspaper. So I guess that this is what I do for now. Cause bringing this type of energy is a superpower. Wow. But wait. All of you have hundreds and hundreds of random words tonight. We threw out Frisbees. We found random words from you guys in the audience, and we chose one person. Miss, you've been standing there. Can you take your word out, hold it up, and show it around? Let's see what it is. That is destiny. Here's the crazy thing. When I first decided to audition for America's Got Talent, I didn't know it was going to change my life. And today, it now feels almost like that, like destiny. Hundreds of words to choose from. These words came from you. But there were letters on the back. And sometimes you're living life every day and you're thinking about that dream that's been sitting on your mind. Oh, no. This is your message today. That dream that you're looking for is also looking for you. That's it. Destiny. My name's Yvonne. Good night. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, 
at 1% Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> Understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to, let me finish, to Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God. You did it. Howie? They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. Oh. Yes. Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a victim. Supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home 
home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Molly Cyrus, what's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked in my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no. We need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man, I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, girl, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> I was grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's nothing. <laughs> I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. 
Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch, and everybody saw that, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that, 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now, it does not end well. <laughs> There was, you know, we would deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. a real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well... <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom would just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Jen, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 because him. they heard you <laughs> cheating. Yes. All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. Snack 